Genesis Maple. I am the CEO and founder of Genesis Advertising and Public Relations Firm, better known as Genesis APR. Here at Genesis APR, we use creativity and communication to help with your next event or project. We offer services that include event and project management, newsletters, flyers, brochures, business cards, and so much more. Contact us today to schedule your consultation, 734-436-1075. We want to see you there. Thank you so much. Welcome to In The Know, I'm building the greatness in you. Welcome, welcome to In The Know, I'm building the greatness in you. Welcome to In The Know, I'm building the greatness in you. This is your host, Chantel Michelle. Thank you. Ooh, this is your host, Chantel Michelle. Thank you, and I am your host, Chantel Michelle. Everybody, welcome to In The Know, Unveiling The Greatness In You. I am, you know I am, I'm Chantel Michelle. Girl, Chantel Michelle, and here at In The Know, my name is Chantel Michelle. And, and I am your host, Rich Girl Chantel. I'm your host, this is In The Know. Hey everybody, it's your girl Chantel Jackson. Hey everybody, it's your girl Chantel Jackson. Hey, here I am. I am Chantel Jackson. I am your host of In The Know, unveiling the greatness in you. Welcome to In The Know, unveiling the greatness in you. Welcome to In The Know, Unveiling The Greatness In You. Yay! <laughs> I am so excited. It is Monday night and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It is literally time for us to celebrate Women's History Month. We've been celebrating all month long and we, well, excuse me, actually, dang. It, the month actually just started, but we're already on the 14th. I'm not understanding where time, we're collapsing time. The coach Kim is watching. We got to, you got to teach me this time bender stuff because it's the 14th. <laughs> and it seems like we just started with Women's History Month. We're going to be celebrating women all month, all month. I need you to tag, share, and invite everybody you know to tune in tonight. We have some powerful, powerhouse women who, you know, you may not know them before tonight, but you're going to know them on tonight. You may know them. You may be watching. You may be family, friends, but I love to, um, here in the know, we love to expose in a good way um, lots of, lots of great talent right in our own backyard and people that we know that we uh, communicate with, especially on um, social media, uh, be it, as you can see, we're here on Facebook. So go ahead, tag, share, and invite someone to tune in. Also, you can watch us on YouTube, so YouTube at in the know three one three. Facebook is in the know three one three. Go ahead and subscribe to our um, our YouTube channel so you can get the notifications when we are live. Um, we are building that. We have oh, almost four hundred subscribers, we're, but we started just a few weeks ago. We only had about eighty, so we're moving right on up with our subscribers. So go ahead and share that um, um, our our channel as well with your family, friends, and loved ones. Also, you can view us on The One streaming live at www.theone.tv. So if you're watching us on Facebook, we want to definitely have you go ahead, tag, share, and invite. So we have some powerhouse women on tonight. I want to just let you know that you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. So let's tag, share, and invite. Um, for those who are tuning on tonight, you you might be tuning in to watch your favorite um, woman. Uh, maybe she's a woman of God. Oh, well, all the women are women of God. Let me just put that out. But they have very, they're multifaceted. And I love that. And I've um, had the privilege of um, working with most of them. But our first guest, um, she is someone that was introduced to me by a good friend of mine who I met on Clubhouse. Somebody shout out for the Clubhouse. Give Clubhouse a hand on tonight. 
I like my mother. I need to get one of these. Get one of these. Probably you're going to have to help me. <laughs> I got to stay on this side. Get you a, a, we have merchandise. Yes, we have our thermal uh, containers where you can actually put your cold or hot drinks and they'll stay either or. So get you one of these. Our website is itkshow.com. itkshow.com. These are available there. Also, we have our mug as well. So pick one. Take, make a, make, pick a choose or get both. These are on itk, itkshow.com, and you can reach us there as well. Also, if you would like to be a um, guest on the show, we're looking for guests. Um, we have some great theme months coming up april's coming up we're going to be featuring businesses in april there is an investment that needs to be made if you want to feature your business what you do how you do it you'll have a full show to feature your business for a small investment that's coming up in april uh, contact us at itkshow.com or you can email us at in the no detroit at gmail.com so i'm so excited to see many of you on on tonight but go ahead please tag share and invite someone to come on this show is going to be amazing. So tonight, let's get ready. After this, we're going to come back with our first power woman. I call them powerful wonder women, women that are making strides in their communities and also across the world. And tonight, our first guest is coming to us. Like I said, I met her um, through um, a apostle, Apostle Mike Ebron. If you're watching, thank you. Shout out to Apostle Mike Ebron. Follow him on Clubhouse and also Instagram. Very powerful man and guy. He's moving and shaking. He has a young man that's doing great things. That he has a uh, just a network of wonderful people that he has already brought to the show, and this is one of them. Her name is Tanya R. Fisher. We'll be right back with her, so we can see exactly what she's doing and how she's making impact as a woman, and she's making her own history. We'll be right back. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, there is a force that unites us all. Join the movement and let your lips do the talking with ID Cosmetics, available on idecosmetics.com. Everybody, welcome back to In the Know, Unveiling the Greatness in You. And once again, go ahead, tag share, and invite someone if you're watching us on um, Facebook, YouTube, or the One TV. Share, 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 share. Tonight's show is going to be phenomenal. Tonight, our first guest um, is Miss Tanya Fisher. Our Fisher. She is the CEO of Bloom While Broken LLC, also known as BWB. She's a certified life coaching service. She has a certified life coaching service specializing in mother-door conflict resolution. Wow. Tanya helps mothers and daughters navigate from the broken areas of their relationship to a more understanding and loving relationship. Tanya herself um, discovered, this was discovered after her daughter, a 35-year-old daughter passed away and their relationship was not in good standing. So how many know, even in our trials, God always has a triumph for it. So Tanya um, became a certified mother and daughter coach. Now, this is the first I've heard of something like this. It is definitely needed. And I definitely took note as I was reading Tanya's, um, reading her uh, actual bio, like this is amazing because this is needed in our world, period. Because <laughs> it's a lot of uh, mother and daughter um, um, relationships that have been wounded because of whatever reason. So we're going to talk to her more about this. She's a Christian ministry leader. She's an aspiring author. Tanya earned her bachelor's degree in business administration and her master's degree in information and technology. So she's well, multifaceted, well-rounded. I love it. Tanya's offered, she offers her coaching program, her services for groups, workshops, and or seminars. 
Kaya believes that every mother and daughter, no matter what the state they're in, relationship can bloom wherever it was, where, or while it was broken. And you can reach her, and we'll tell you how you can reach her. But tonight, you're going to hear from, right from Tanya. Welcome to the In the Know, Miss Tanya R. Fisher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me. I am so glad to have you on, and we both are blind. Blind has blinds have more fun out here. <laughs> you yes. look amazing. You look amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And so do you. And so do Thank you. Thank you. I love I love your background. Your lighting is good. I love when a, a, a customer, a customer, a client, or a guest. We I have all of those, right? <laughs> we have a marketing business as well. I got to switch from marketing to our show here on In The Know. Just thank you so much for coming on and being so patient. Technology is something different. I love live. A lot of people like to pre-record, but anything can happen live. So here we are. So let's talk about you for a moment. I want to know, and um, maybe let's just say, I like to do this in three words or less. Who is Tanya Fisher? <laughs> I am a mother. I am a coach. And I am an IT professional. Um, wow. I love God. I know that's more than three words, but I love God that's first okay. and foremost. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Where are you from? That did, I did not see that, and I love to say, where are you? Where do you hail from? I am actually from Flint, Michigan. Girl, yes. stop! It. Shut your yes, mouth. Yes, yes. Oh my God! Do you stay? Do you yes. stay in Flint right now? No, I don't, but I still have family. My parents and my sister uh, are still there, and I have a nephew that's there as well. So I visit uh, when I can. <laughs> oh, wow. Listen, y'all, Detroit, y'all give it up for a time. Yes. She's right here from our neck yes. That is amazing. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Just right up the street from you. <laughs> it's 45 minutes. 45 minutes. That's it. Day. 30 minutes for some people. That's exactly All right. So, um, yeah, where do you reside now? I live in Jacksonville, Florida. I oh. um, recently moved here actually from Atlanta, Georgia area. So I am new to the area. I've been here about four months now. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the move. And I know God has some great things for you there. So let's talk about a little bit about what you do. Okay, let's go into your, your natural profession, or I would say your profession as an IT. You do. Um, you're a mother. Let's let's talk about that first. You are you are a mother of how many children? Yes, I have two children: um, a son, Gregory, who's the oldest, and my daughter, Tamia, who is now deceased. Right, and so I know that's in your bio, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Yes. So let's go on to um, what you do um, as a profession when it comes to uh, your corporate job. You said you are in IT. I believe it says. That you are are a your IT engineer. Oh, that sounds yes. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is very interesting. Um, I actually worked my way up into this profession um, as okay. a single mother. You know, you take jobs where you can get them and how you can provide for your children. But I have always been interested in IT, and okay. um, so I decided to go back to school and uh, work my way into IT. And I now work uh, for the government um, as a, yes, as a, um, um, they call a power uh, platform, which is a Microsoft product. So I work with that, okay. I license those and install them. Yes. Wow, so you license, and wait, first of all, you said government, that's huge. And I think <laughs> And that's I love like the women um that come on and they have these jobs, but they be so modest, like I work for President Obama or I work for <laughs> I work for whoever in the government. I'm okay. But how is that? Like, does that do you work from home or do you work outside the house? Well, how does that work? Yes, I work from home. I'm fortunate enough to work from home and I was able to move from Atlanta to um, Jacksonville, keeping my job. So that was definitely a blessing, but I really yes. enjoy it. I enjoy the people that I work with. It's a wonderful job. Yes. Wow. So with that being said, you also have a passion for mother and daughter relationships. So let's just go back a little bit. Your daughter, 
um, you look 35. So when I saw that your daughter had had a who was 35, I was just like, okay, <laughs> yeah, you look amazing. But I, I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do a show. I'm going to do this show. Black don't crack. And this is going to be a show <laughs> of women yes, well, that are who look black. <laughs> Well, I'm not ashamed to say I'll be 60 years old, uh, May 1st. So I'm, I'm a very proud 60 year old woman that enjoy my life. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I crack. I love it. I love it. Yes. Don't, and I like to say 60 years. You are 60 years young. 60 years young. You are aging. I'll take that. <laughs> You're yes, so let's, that. Get, let's get into um, your mission your mission for mothers and daughters. Let's go back a little bit on how this started. Tell us your story. Okay. Um, some last year about, um, I guess I would say in maybe April sometime, um, I was walking um, and I happened to see a, a, a tree with a broken branch and um, and the spirit of the Lord told me to go look at that branch. And I looked at it and I, I said, okay, we had some storms and I said, okay, um, that's a broken branch. And he said, look down. And I looked down, the branch was clearly broken, but it was blooming. It had blooms on the end of the branch. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, um, bloom. And he gave me bloom while broken. He said, you can even, bloom even in your broken state uh so maybe a week or a couple weeks later maybe maybe a month or so later i went back to the tree and i looked at it and this time it had fruit it was a peach tree and it had fruit on the tree and so god said you see you can bloom and produce while you're broken wow and, um this happened not knowing that a week later Mm. I would find out that my daughter had passed away. Wow. wow. And, um, you know, and I, I always say that God will sometimes, he'll set you up. Yes, <laughs> and he set me up. Yes. And he set me up with this. And my daughter, she was, um, she was diabetic and she okay. passed away uh, as a, um, what they call it, uh, diabetic chiasidosis. And okay. that's how she passed away. So basically she went into a diabetic coma and passed away in her home. She lived in Miami at the time. And so I, so she, I had been calling and calling and couldn't reach her. And I had planned actually to go um, down to see her. Um, my birthday was May 1st and she didn't call me, which was unusual, even though right. um, we'll talk even though um, you know our relationship wasn't at the best state at the time, but she never missed a birthday, Mother's Day. She loved holidays and all of that. Right. And I was concerned because she didn't call. And um, so the week went by, I kept calling and calling. So I made plans to, uh, I was actually making plans to go see her. Um, and then Mother's Day came along when she didn't call me, I was really concerned. Um, so that next day I wasn't feeling well. And I went, um, I went to the store to go buy something for my stomach, came back and I saw a police car in the uh, subdivision. And wow. um, I was like, oh, wow, I hope nothing happened. And um, when I got out of the car, as I was getting out of uh, the car in the garage, the police officer came walking up my um, driveway and I knew something had happened to my daughter. So it was, it was a, horrific thing and I've never gone through anything like that before and I hope I never will and it was the hardest time of my life and it still is because it was just last May 10th when she was found so it's not even a full year yet yeah, um, wow. and it and it was really even harder because um, you know she had passed away and they think she had passed away for about a year uh, I mean not a year I'm sorry a week and a half so I was before. unable to see her body, yes, before she wow. was found. So I was unable to see her body. I wasn't un unable to chat with her or talk to her. So within all of that, um, Bloom While Broken was born. Um, wow. One day I was sitting and I 
I just, uh, I was grieving horribly this day. And God told me, you will not be in a perpetual state of grief. Get up and bloom while broken. He kept giving me that. Now, I didn't know what I was going to do with that. I knew it was profound because, of course, it came from the Holy Spirit. Right. Um, but right. yes, and so I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And um, as you mentioned earlier, Clubhouse, uh, my apostle is Apostle Mike Evron, and he is my covering, my spiritual covering. Yes. And, um, yes. But prior to me even going to his room, I went into another room called the Single Mompreneur. Um, yes. room and yes. that is headed by dr tavis, dr. tavis. Uh, taylor yes. wonderful yes. awesome woman of god and Absolutely. as i was going into the room she was talking about this coaching business and she was ministering to women uh single women and not only are there single women in this uh uh in the single mompreneur but they're also women of all even men come and yes. when she talked started talking about the coaching business it just hit me bloom while wow. broken coaching services and it's to help mothers and daughters um, come together because life is too short i will never get that time back with my daughter right. i will never get that time and it was at a broken state we were talking but it wasn't the relationship that i would have loved it to be at right so, so that is my goal so that's what i was about to ask Sorry, so it seems like um like you said, in that moment, um, even before she passed, how God had set, like you said, set you up. Um, mm -hmm. And you saw the branch and you saw it broken off, off the tree and it still was blooming. And so yes. would you say that that was literally, uh, like you said, a setup for what's happening in your life now to help other mothers and daughters? Definitely so, definitely so. Like I said, um, Bloom I Broke and it kept, you know, crossing my mind, crossing my mind. I had no clue um, where that was going. But as it, as I said, I um, God led me straight into the single mompreneur room and the coaching business. And there is um, Dr. Tavis is the owner of the Bloom University, the Georgia uh, division. And okay. um, I was able to join in and I just knew immediately that was it. And Wait, so, so now so, um, I have a question. So yes. you got bloom while broken and then you got connected to uh, <laughs> yes. uh to Bloom University. Uh, yes. Oh, and then you had Bloom University? What the God is so yes. isn't, it, yes. isn't it amazing how even in our what we feel like is like devastation? That God burst out ministry. I, I've been there. Yes, so, yes so definitely. Talk to so. that woman, talk to that woman, that daughter, whoever may be watching on tonight. We're celebrating Women's History Month, and literally, you are making history, my dear. You are making oh, history so by, uh, you know, even uh, who it hasn't even been a year. This is history. It hasn't been a mm -hmm. year since you laid your daughter to rest. Who you were not able, you did not get to talk to. You did not get to see her. You uh, did you get to have a, a service for her because it was doing COVID? Um, we did have a service. She was cremated, you know, due to the condition of her body. And we did have a service in Atlanta before I left. We had a memorial service and okay. uh, we celebrated her life. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And so now a whole um, a whole ministry has been birthed. Bloom while broken. Let's talk about that today. My producer is telling me our time is winding down. So let's okay. talk about what your mission is. Let's talk about the mission of this great movement that I literally see God taking. And I literally see wings being attached to this movement. The Holy Spirit is talking to me. I see wings being attached to this movement. I see them spreading abroad like eagles. And this is going to soar. So I hear God saying, oh, God do not you. put it down. Do I don't care. And God said, I, I break off the spirit of grief and I break off the spirit of even from shame or even guilt. We oh, counsel it by the power of the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God. That it will not torment you, that you will not yes. feel uh, 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 anything outside of the but what God's will is for your life as you Thank continue you. the legacy of your daughter and building did she have any children did she have any children uh no she didn't she was single okay 
Yeah. It was single. Mm -hmm. Amen. So as you build, still, there's a legacy that God wants to build through this, what has happened through your, uh, with your daughter and you. And God said, do not think it's strange on what has happened. But he is going to literally, I see wings attached to this and there. And God's hand of favor is upon your mission. Let's talk about the mission. Let our viewers know. Yes. Amen. Amen. I pray that makes sense. Let's talk about the mission, the mission that you have for women and daughters and mothers to be connected as they go move forward to what God has them to do. Tell us what Broken, uh, Bloom by Broken, LLC, what your mission is. Again, as I said, my mission is to bring um, mothers and daughters together. I have a free ebook, and I think it was shown okay. on the um, on the. Put that the, back up for us. Yeah. I, yes, I give five tips to help restore mother and daughter relationships, and the goal is to um, for mothers and daughters both. And I might mainly focus on the mothers because we are the ones that will set the example for our daughters. And yes. so one of the things is to listen. We need to listen to our daughters, Ooh, our children in general. We need to listen because because we are mothers and we're adults, we think that we know everything. But what I've learned is, is that if we don't listen to them, they will go and talk to someone else that will give them advice that you may not want them to have. So the first key is to listen. Yes, listen to them because you don't want them going anywhere else. The second wow. is forgive, you know, mm -hmm. is to forgive. Uh, both mother and daughter have to forgive each other. We as mothers, we're human. We make mistakes and we need to own up to those mistakes. And if our daughters happen to maybe talk to us badly or do things as they grow up and, you know, as my mother would say, feeling themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> as we on, we, yes, we need to learn how to forgive each other because this is the key to moving into a better relationship. Um, the third key is respect. We have to have respect for each other. Mothers, respect your daughters. Respect your daughters. Sometimes we don't respect them because they're our children and they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know, I know I'm the adult. No, respect their feelings. Respect what they want to do as a profession. They may not wanna to go to college. They may want to do hair as my daughter did. We cannot force our um, what we think is best for them on them. We have to allow what gift God has given them to bloom and flourish. And we can't force that. So we have to respect who they are as people. Um, also, trust. Trust is the foundation. We need to be able to trust each other. Um, my daughter and I, I'll tell the story real quickly. Um, my daughter had gone through some things. She also had mental health issues and um, she had gone through a tough patch. And I remember one time she heard me on the phone talking, I think it was to my best friend about what she was dealing with and how tired I was. Do you know from that point, she lost trust in me because wow. I'm telling her businesses, you know, what she felt like was her business. And so yeah. she lost the amount of trust and it took a while for me to try to gain that yeah. back. Um, yeah. Right. And so we have to respect our children um, and we have to show a level of trust that they can yeah. trust us with what they share with us and that right. um, they can also trust us to be the loving, affirming parent that we should be. Wow. Wow, listen, and, listen, you are. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, no, that's okay. And the last tip, of course, is is love. Yes. Yes. Is love. We have to show love to each other. We may say love, but if we don't show love, we become angry, you know, with some of the things our children do. But we have to remember okay. we were children once before. Amen. Absolutely. And we yes, amen. Uh, did things that our parents didn't appreciate, right? And then exactly. I'll throw in a bonus. Out of all of those things, pray. Pray together, Woo! pray over yes. your children, pray for you, pray that God will lead and guide you how to handle your children, whether they are an adult, whether they are teenagers or even young children. We have yes. to pray and allow God to lead us into how to parent our children. Wow, listen, that was good. Come on, y'all. <laughs> 
I need I, all of those tips. I, I have a 24 you. year old daughter, and literally, I will definitely be getting your ebook. Uh, we are, uh, God is restoring our relationship as well. I'm glad, you know, this is good for tonight. Many um, daughter and the mothers are watching on tonight, um, Tanya, and we are grateful that you have come on and shared your Women History Month story just to let us know that we all have a uh, place together with our daughters and we can count on you. To, uh, we can follow you. Where can we reach you real quick? Let us know how we can follow you on Instagram and also and also on um on whatever platform we can follow your website <laughs> and where they can get the ebook. Okay, well, uh, thanks again. I, I'd like to say, if you don't mind, thanks again to Apostle Mike Ebron, of course, yes. for allowing me, out. affording me Apostle this Mike. opportunity. Absolutely. He is an awesome man of God. I yes. love him yes. to life. And again, as I mentioned, Dr. Tavis, she has been instrumental in this journey of Absolutely. entrepreneurship. Um, but it. you can reach me at Bloom While Broken LLC on Instagram. Um, click on the link in my bio. You can book a discovery call and we can talk about how we can help you with your mother daughter relationship. Um, you can also download the free uh, ebook, and that's how you can contact me. There you go, bloomwhilebroken.com. Get your free ebook, Mother and Daughter. If you don't have a daughter yet, Get your ebook. This will help you before you even get Amen. your baby in your stomach. Or you have a little baby, and she ain't talking yet. She's gonna talk one day for real. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's give it up again for our guests. Oh, go ahead. Did you have something else to say, sis? No, no, I was just saying the thing is, I hate for anyone to ever have to go through what I experienced. You still have time to develop your relationship, nourish your relationship, and have a loving relationship. Don't let it be too late. You can still that. bloom while broken. Come on, I love it. Bloom while broken with Tanya R. Fisher. Shout out. Thank you again. We mm -hmm. appreciate you coming on and sharing your story for this Women's History Month. Listen, Mike Ebron, Apostle Mike Ebron, thank you. I see you on. And thank you so much for that awesome testimony and woman of God. Woo! I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, y'all, we have some more show to go. Somebody say more show to go. More show to go. More show to go. Listen, <laughs> I have five women. If they're going to be not all together, they're going to come on um, in different segments. But these five women have been very instrumental in my life, um, in, especially through a journey, a very um, um, a journey that I had these past three years. These past three years, I've had instrumental women in my life. My grandmother being one, she's gone on to be with the Lord. My mother, Dr. Beverly White Jackson. Being one, my grandma, Corrine Bozeman, another mom. There's so many women I could just, I could, I, we'll be here all night. But this, these past three years, I, I led on, God led me on a journey, not me, but God led me on a journey. And there, these women you're going to meet tonight, they made impact in my life and they're making impact in other women's lives. And I want you to, to hear what they're doing in this world, making impact this Women's History Month. I want to recognize them. So let's, um, Go to a break and we're going to have first uh we're going to have dr shante warren of elephant kingdom ministries and also dr martha rushing and yvonne skinner we're going to have them first and then we'll come up with uh more so dr shante i see you watching get on on that link that we gave you and uh we want to make sure everyone is on so y'all y'all um let me know when everyone is on let's go to maybe um a couple of commercials and we'll be right back Hey, hey, everybody, it's yours truly, Dr. Eddie, best-selling author and empowerment speaker. Check this out. Dear Queen, Volume 2 is officially here. That's right. My newest book, my 13th book, is available right now for you to go ahead and grab your copy. Get it in your hands. It's going to speak to your heart. Aren't you ready for it? I'm telling you, doesn't does the cover look amazing? Uh, facts, say less. Beyond just the cover, it's about the content that's literally going to speak to the character of your heart. Listen, little did I know when I wrote my seventh book in 2017, that being Dear Queen, that it, it would touch so many lives, both locally and globally. 
So many bold, bright, beautiful, and brilliant queens were empowered to love themselves and to know their worth. It's been five years and the world has totally and rapidly changed, but my message of empowerment remains the same. I mean, think about it. What's a writer without a reader? And beyond that, statistics suggest that the average adult only reads one book a year. I want you to make sure that you add Dear Queen Volume 2 to your library. I want you to get it in your hands. And I want you to get this message in your heart because it's going to speak to your heart. For every queen that's out there, for every king who loves a queen, I want you to make sure that you use this book as a gift to speak life into the lives of your loved ones. I define queen as quintessentially unique, empowering everyone naturally. Real queens don't compete, they collaborate. They don't hate, they celebrate. They understand that their royalty demands loyalty. As a result, they wear their crown and they build their queendom in the kingdom of God. I want you to make sure that you grab your copy as I speak to your heart. The book was so nice, I had to write Dear Queen twice. <laughs> Listen, if you read the first installment, you know that I gave you jewels of wisdom to love yourself and to know your worth. In part two, in the sequel, in Dear Queen Volume 2, we're taking it to another level, showing you how to wear your crown, walk in your authority, and your unique authenticity. It's a must read from cover to cover. It's going to empower you to recover. As you open the book, as you flip the pages, and you uh, check out the chapters, it's going to empower you to write a new chapter and to flip the page. Listen, get my book now and gain insight on how to become a kingdom queen. Why understanding your assignment is not enough. How to prepare for your purpose partner. Why your royalty demands loyalty. And I include steps on how to unlock your royal identity as well as your destiny. Go ahead, get your copy of Dear Queen 2, volume two, and I guarantee you'll discover how to apply the greatness that's within you. It's a refreshing, riveting, and reviving read that empowers you, yes, to wear your crown, walk in your authority and unique authenticity. This program has been brought to you by the Markhart Law Firm, former prosecutor and experienced aggressive criminal defense attorney, specializing in violent crimes, drug crimes, weapon crimes, murder, fraud, white collar crimes, DUI, and much more. Fighting vigorously to win every case at trial, call 248-545-5290. Call the offices of Markhart now. Welcome back. Welcome back to In the Know and Building the Greatness in You. We are definitely having a great show on tonight. We have some more guest women, women, powerful women that are making impact in the world. They are making history with that. Uh, they're making history right here in our own backyard. So I'm so excited to have with us tonight um, three, four, five women. But well, we're going to bring them on different in different segments. So real quick, and I know y'all are like, ain't this just an hour show? We might be a little bit longer today, so bear with us. This is going to be worth you staying on and watching it, right? So uh, as we get started, let's go ahead and bring forth these women of God. They are two wonderful women of God. They, they're both, um... oh, you brought them on already. I ain't even introduced them yet. Can I introduce <laughs> I'm fussing y'all. I love y'all. I love you, Charlie. All right. So real quick. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. One second. <laughs> one second, y'all. Let me see. Who? All right. So let's go here. You just saw that. Oh, first of all, hit that book. You just saw the commercial for with Dr. Eddie Connor, Dear Queen, Volume Two. Make sure you get that. Uh, and we, you, you're not gonna regret it. All right. You're not gonna. All right, so many women have touched my life in these past forever. I'm 47. Oh, I'll be 47. Why well, keep making myself 47? It's not till June. My birthday in June, by the way. So I'll be 47 years young. 
Uh, I know black don't crack, right? Don't I look 20? Hello. I got a 24 year old. That wouldn't be possible. Y'all supposed to be laughing. Pump the hearts. Pump the hearts and laugh. <laughs> Pump the oh, laughing emojis, please. I look 20. Y'all not saying nothing. I don't see y'all saying nothing. I look 24 or 20 with a 24 year old. All right. I got a joke for you. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Apostle Mike. I love Apostle Mike. Y'all follow him. He is like a supporter of In the Know for sure. With anybody who put their money where their mouth is, it's Pastor Mike E. Ron. And he put his prayers on it too. So now would. All right. All right. Let me. It's Women's History Month, but I got to acknowledge this man of God. All right. So, real quick, I want to get to our next guest. Um, so, I was trying to go on order. Uh, we're going to go. We'll go. I want to go in order. Some women have made some impact in my life these past three years. God brought me on a journey. How many know sometimes well, God will bring us on a journey and we don't really understand the journey and we try to figure it out? Um, and we like, but we obey God, right? So I obey God and He just begins to put the puzzle pieces together. And I'm here now because of God, of course. And of course, I give honor to. Um, um, those who came before these women. But uh, tonight, God is, uh, wanted me to acknowledge the women of God that we're going to acknowledge tonight. So right now, okay, awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm glad I started a little bit, but I'm telling the truth. I'm, uh, I'm telling the truth and starting at the same time because I want to do this in order. So we don't give the devil no place up in here with his technical boysy and boys. I learned that from the next guest. She began to rebuke Boise and Boise. And I'm like, Boise and Boise? That sound, that's, ain't that like the microphone? Ain't that like a sound system? And so Boise and Boise is actually a spirit that tries to get in the technical things that, you know, whether it's in the airwaves or your sound system to, to cause distraction. I didn't hear you. Say it again. Say it again. You didn't know that. Okay, you're learning something on tonight. Come on, give God glory. Or, so this woman of God, I want to bring her on first um, because I want to do this in how God showed me to do it. So this woman of God, um, I met her through my daughter. And I have a daughter. Her name is Genesis. And y'all see her commercial that plays every week. Genesis APR. Give it up. Come on. Clap your hands, all you people. Can I get some? Okay. We're about to fight her. No, we're not. All right, so clap your hands. You do need a raise. Clap your hands, all you people. All right, so Genesis introduces me to this woman of God. And God began to say, this is going to be your church home. I'm telling my story. This is my story. So I need y'all to bear with me. I'm going to tell you a little bit of it. And when he told me this, I had met this beautiful young lady. And um, just thought she was beautiful all around. She could sing. She was a worship. She is a worship leader. Not was. She is a worship leader. She was at that time. She was at her then church before God called her and her husband out to be pastors um, at um, World World Apathetic Kingdom Ministries, uh, uh, who her apostle is another great woman of God, Apostle Sharice Lewis. And so when I met her, I was just blown away. It's just like she's super cool. Like she dresses nice. She can sing, and she has such a sweet spirit. And she had like five kids and she was amazing. Like, and I hadn't met Apostle West yet. Um, actually, Prophet Shante, Dr. Shante, she is, she came in this business venture with me that I was doing with a bunch of women. So I knew she had a heart for women then. And she, and then lo and behold, like a year later, she became my pastor. And not just my pastor, and I'm gonna try not to get emotional because I feel the tears. See, women, can I cry? Can I cry tonight? Y'all gonna let me cry tonight? <laughs> it's good tears because I'm happy. God's, God's favor and God, you being obedient to God will bring you to places where and, and connect you to people that could literally impact your life. So I want to bring on tonight this woman of God. Let me read a little bit about her. I, 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 I printed it off. Hold on. I got my, got my paper. Dr. Shante Warren is a dynamic woman of God who walks in the office of an apostle. She advances the kingdom alongside her husband, Apostle West, at Elohim Kingdom Ministries in Southgate, Michigan. She is the mother of five and many spiritual children. She is a found, she is the founder of Woman to Woman International, a ministry dedicated to building 
women from the I mean, beauty from the inside out. Dr. Shante loves to lead others into prophetic worship through song. She flows heavily and strong in the anointing of counsel and deliverance. Truth be told. Most of her heart's desire is to please God and to empower his people. Welcome to, many of you know her already, and some of you may not, but welcome to In the Know. She's a friend of the show too, Dr. Shante. Uh-oh. No, I can't hear. Why wouldn't it check the sound, Prophet? No. Um, not sure why we can't hear. Okay, one second. I can't hear anything. Prophet, are you? Okay, no problem. So, um, Prophet is going to bring you on. So, as I was saying before, um, I met Dr. Shante. It, I can't believe it's been almost four years since we actually met because I met you through Brianna um, and Genesis going to school together and in college. So they both have graduated. Uh, we have daughters the same age and they both have graduated uh, from college. <laughs> How about that? And they're doing and they're both in their prospective careers. And so um, definitely want to um, get her sound on so we can just talk to her for a few minutes. That's I love live because that's what happens. Our, do we have sound? No sound. All right, not sure why we don't have sound. You said you could hear her a second ago. I just can't hear her, maybe. Oh, we love live. Somebody say, yay, live. <laughs> somebody, somebody say, yay, live. So as we are getting profit, profit is Shante, Dr. Shante on with her. Did you hear us? Yeah, she said she can hear us. I'm just reading lips. I'm not that good at reading lips. Okay, go ahead, doctor. Uh, is your mic muted? She said, no, it's not muted. She, mm -mm, she can't hear. Strike. Okay, so try. Okay, so let's go to our next guest. These two women of God. We're going to give Dr. Shate or this. Uh uh. We're going to even give him new. Okay, so. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. All right, so short, in short, let's talk to another couple of young ladies. I wanted them to come on together because they were instrumental in my journey and they are both making impact. Um, They were there, they have made impact together. And they both are making impact um, in their own perspective ways, even still. And so we have Yvonne and Dr. Martha, Yvonne Skinner and Dr. Martha Rush Rushing. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Yvonne. Yvonne is my cousin. She's my first cousin, for, first of all. She hails from the great state of Michigan out of a city called Monroe. She's now residing in North Carolina. She is a, a woman of God. She's a faith of faith faithful woman of God and she's also a mother she's a wife and she is also moving and blossoming into her calling even as a coach and so much more she gave me a bio but I can't read it all right now she loves empowering people she loves uh, also her mother pastor Ann Freeman who is my auntie uh, and her mother-in-law apostle Annette Moulton has mentored her through ministry and also she is now heli into real estate so she is definitely making an impact and but what i love what she did her and dr martha teamed up together and they began to impact women's women and men's lives uh in counseling and deliverance dr martha rushing dr martha rushing also a woman of god who has made impact she is who and who is making an impact she's the owner of blended into one counseling licensed psych psychologist Senior pastor alongside her husband, Pastor Stephen Russian, and at Butterfly Nation International Ministry in Concord, Concord, North Carolina. They both, she has a master's degree in marriage and family therapy and a doctoral degree in psychology. Dr. Martha Russian has been elevated to the Office of the Apostle Operation Healing and Deliverance. Uh, she's originally from New York, now resides in North Carolina. But let me tell you about them. Come on on. I want y'all to meet. 
Dr. Martha Rushett and Yvonne Skinner. Hey, y'all. Okay, please tell me y'all. Can we hear y'all? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it how y'all saying yes together. Listen, I want, I'm so glad you all were able to get together because this is how I remember uh, back in 2021, um, earlier that year when God had spoke to me and told me you all, told me to have you all be a counselor to me and to promote with, at that time, um, was called, it's called Healing Heart, Healing Heart. And um, at that time, I was looking for some healing inside out. God told me to begin to, to heal on the inside out. I mean, you know, you need to heal. You need to heal before you bleed on folks, right? Oh, and fine. so I want you all just, to, just let's just go through the journey of, you know, what you guys did then and what you all are doing now. We, we are running out of time and I hate to rush you all, but I definitely wanted just to go forth on tonight. Both of you, I just want to give you your flowers while you can smell them and let you know that you both made impact into my life um, through Healing Hearts. And, and you both are still making impact on my life. Even before Healing Hearts, it was Butterfly Nation. You both would invite me, uh, even in my broken white blooming. I was, that lady is so prophetic. Bro, mm -hmm. I was broken at that time, but I was, God was still blooming me. Tanya Fisher, if you're still watching, this is a true ministry, was still blooming me. You all will call me and allow me to speak and share my testimony on your Butterfly Nation platform. Mm -hmm. And you don't even understand how much of an impact that has had. So introduce, let's start with you, Dr. Martha. Introduce yourself and just let's just talk about your journey as healing hearts and then we'll go to Yvonne. Awesome. So good evening, everyone. And thank you so, so much, uh, Prophetess Chantel, for allowing us to grace your amazing platform. We absolutely love, love, love uh, this show. So um, I like uh, Chantel said, I am uh, the owner of Healing Hearts, which I have now transitioned with my husband into blended into one counseling where we work with families, individuals, men and women. Uh, but we are going after marriages. We are relationship solutionists. So we yeah. are bringing solutions to the issues in your marriage and in your relationship and making marriage great again. Wow. So now you all are helping not just women, but men too, and all relationships all around. And that's what I would love to say that you all are making impact as women and also making history. That is amazing. So Yvonne, Yvonne, my first cousin, my, my, my number one stunner from day one, we have been like, you've seen me, you've seen a lot of me. <laughs> <laughs> And you have always been so supportive. And so just talk about who you are, what you do, and uh, what are you doing to make history an impact in this world? Hello, I am Yvonne from North Carolina. I'm so excited to be a part of your story. In my life, I'm learning to be, to be a positive part of somebody's story, right? Um, here to listen, here to encourage you here to and push men and women to the place that God called them to be working along with my amazing husband, Anthony Skinner. God is moving in, moving us into the real estate world and learning to minister to people in real estate and property management. I was like, wow, God, wow. I didn't get me to minister to the broken and the broken ones and, and to property management. I'm just so amazed at where God is taking um the skinner family in this generation wow so now you all have branched out on your own doing with your husband that's amazing because to have a partner first of all how important as women is it to work with your husband let's talk about that a little bit wow for me right <laughs> <laughs> like, my sister my sister martha she go on stage by herself but <laughs> To have my husband with me, the importance, I really honor, I really appreciate him. I have assignments to go live a lot of times. I say, honey, come play behind me. Honey, come support me. Or honey, come look at this house with me. Come to these classes. And to have that help me, that spouse with me, 
to change gen generation has definitely been an important for me. And we all know, Chantel, you know, God is pushing me on stage like, Yvonne, go, you got to go. Yes. <laughs> and I'm yes. Like, so it's a transition and I'm really excited for the transition. I will wow. say for me, I will say for me that it has been uh, life changing and it has definitely been impactful to my financial growth, my spiritual growth, and also my personal growth. Uh, a lot of the people that we work with, they call my husband the secret sauce. Yeah. And so it's like we're the dynamic duo. Uh, you know, I absolutely love it when couples come in and the husbands is like, yeah, I don't know about this therapy thing. We don't need no therapy. And then they <laughs> with my husband and it's like why we ain't been doing this where y'all been at? Right. and so wow. it's just been life changing and it has not only uh improved me personally but where it has taken me and my husband as leaders in the kingdom and each yes. one of us in visual i mean god has now launched us to do a global tour like he's sending us to malaysia and trinidad and um uh barbados and we just did detroit so like god has really entrusted us with a lot and the mantle that he has given us now because we have connected the way that he wanted us to and we're going forth as one so it's been life changing mm -hmm. wow i am so excited of what God is doing in both of you all's lives, how God started you all off together. Now you all are branched off and make an impact now with your husband. And now I see you all even doing uh, more things as couples, for couples, and really, really trailblazing and pioneering through some things when it comes to uh, what you're doing in ministry, Dr. Martha, Martha and uh, also, lady um color lady uh, Yvonne and you and your husband in business <laughs> in business it's such an honor to have you all to be a part of my journey and um and I, I I just had to make sure you all were here let tell everyone how how they can reach you and what uh what's next let's talk about what's next I heard you say Dr. Martha that you all are planning a world tour so um is that something that's happening now in 2022 or and beyond let's talk about what's next um so for the russians yes god has assigned us in 2022 to stop our uh so far what we where we have been released to is um malaysia trinidad barbados and texas right now we have wow. already completed our first stop which was detroit uh michigan we are now connecting with the ministries in the local areas God has released us to. Uh, so we're getting those things set up. So what's next for us is to continue doing what God has called us to do, um, bringing deliverance and healing to the body of Christ, building the kingdom, discipling where God send us and teaching people through the word of God, financial wealth, healing, teaching them the love of God and winning souls for the kingdom as we continue to grow, as we continue to submit ourselves to God and continue being everything that God has called us to be. Amen. I love it. Tell us how we can reach you real quick. Tell us how they can, anybody that's watching who may not know how to reach you, maybe for bookings and also you all counsel as a couple family. So talk about that and how we can reach you. Yes, so I am definitely available uh, for speaking against, uh, engagements, uh, women conferences and things like that. Uh, you can reach me on my email, martha.healinghearts at gmail.com. Or you can reach me on my Facebook, which is Martha Russian. My Instagram is Russian on Instagram. Awesome. All right, lady. Or Yvonne, it's your turn. What's next? What do you guys have planned? Do you have anything that you want us to know? What's going on? How we can reach you as well? Yes, I'm so excited for the journey my husband and I are going on. Uh, you guys will see more of Anthony and Yvonne Skinner live. God has been uh, really pushing us into sharing our 20, going on 25 years in July, 25 years of being wow. married and supporting wow. couples and just being the example that god called us to be so you can always reach out to me wise did you just need somebody to talk to 
help you think on what how we say think about it think about it let's just talk about it the talk about let's just talk about about it i love it and look, let me let it. me be let me be her commercial for a moment, okay? <laughs> Thank <Because> you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> her commercial for a moment. Listen, I believe that I was the hardest wife case that she had. And so I Aww. tell people if she can help me, she can help anybody. Because many tried and failed, but God sent the right one. He knew who needed to come in and speak to the woman, the wife, the woman of God inside of me in order for me to Aww. birth out who God had already called me to be. So wives, listen, don't listen. Hit the link, <laughs> call her, inbox her. You look, she's going on 25 years. Your marriage will have longevity. I would look, Come on. If, my, if my husband was here, he would say it too. We are married now, still because of Yvonne Skinner. Come on, y'all, give it up. That's powerful. What I love to see is the collaboration, and then God said, Hey, it's time for you all not to separate in a bad way, but go and do what I've called you to do. Yes. y'all did it collectively and even coming together collectively even more but even god has dipped you both on different missions to impact the world you've impacted my life here Chantel michelle jackson i'm forever grateful thank you so much dr martha russian and yvonne mm -hmm. my lady skinner and your husbands as well god bless you thank you for coming on in the know sharing your heart sharing your story and what god is doing in your life to make impact in this woman's history as you are making history as a woman god bless you now y'all listen my dr shante is on we do with the we don't stop we don't stop we don't go a little over tonight because i got two more guests after them so don't go nowhere dr shante is with us and i believe she has found let's go <laughs> All right, hey. Okay, no, okay. I, you said don't nobody touch nothing. All right, so we'll be right exactly. back with Dr. Shante. I'm not sure why she's froze now. Um, okay, here we are. You in the car? I'm gonna get you. Why are you in the car? Uh, you still? <laughs> Listen, Elijah had their district championship game tonight. Uh, oh, so wow! Did they win? She's a mom. They won. So when I when Yay! I uh, when I talked to you initially, they hadn't advanced yet. But right. since then, they actually advanced. Got so you. Got you. Oh they wow! They did win. So yeah. So um, then we had to stop by somebody's house because they were sick, and then yeah. So. Yes, like I said, y'all, you know. he's making impact. Dr. Shante <laughs> Warren is The making. story of my... <laughs> but that right. was such I an amazing... Right. I, was just, I just wanted them to know, as you can see, Dr. Shante is making impact. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's a spiritual mother. And she counsels women and men all over the world. Literally, all over the world. Some of you are watching on tonight. Give it up for Dr. Shante Warren. Listen, I wanted to share with people on tonight what God has told me. Just like I like some of the women in the past three years on my journey um, who have made impact in my life to highlight you all, and you are one of them. And I kind of want to go in order, but we still in order. All right, so you, I met you. I never forget meeting you uh, through Genesis and her, um, and just seeing um, you know the women that you uh, who you were. I was like, wow, amazing. And then I had a chance to have you be my pastor for a few years and it really was life changing on um, the counseling the mentoring you know the the hugging the crying all the stuff that i did <laughs> the rebuking all the corrections excuse me and everything was greatly needed and it has made such an impact in my life so i want you to share uh just real quick of those who um i mean the, to those who may not know you may be watching who you are and some of the things that you are doing now to make impact in this world as a woman. Yeah, okay, so um, Dr. Shante is driving, so that can cause a little, um, she's in the car, she's not driving, of course, because she's on live. <laughs> but that is um, what's going on with her feed. So maybe we can put, if Dr. Shante, if somebody could reach out to her and see if she could, how long before she gets home? Maybe we can put her at the end. 
Okay, yeah, we can go ahead with Dr. Coach Kim and Lakina. Is Lakina on? No, Lakina. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Coach Kim. She's supposed to be last. Okay, one second. Does Lakina have a um? Hi, everybody. We we live. Thank God for live. That's all I gotta say. We are live. Amen. Don't no, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. We're gonna get. Okay, please don't yet. Let me introduce her, please. Let me, please, let me, please. So, okay, y'all, we are having some technical issues. And as you can see, we're live and that's okay. So I want to give everybody a proper do. I have to do it like I saw it. And so I know we're having some issues with some of the tech. So right now we do have one of our um, guests on. And this young lady, I met her on the great app Clubhouse. She has made a profound impact in, in my life to teaching me how to change my thoughts. And I grew up in the church, faith, you know, I thought I was I thought I was the word queen. They call me the word queen. You know, I I'd be chopped down the word in a minute. You say something crazy, I'm like, no, we don't say that. But then I met Coach Kim and saw that I still had some thinking to do. That I need to 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 check every thought, to to make sure that I give myself grace when I have thoughts that 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 our mind is like a bus station and uh, we have a thoughts come that like when buses come to the bus station you don't have to get on every bus you know you know what bus you want to get on because that's how our minds are our minds are but like a bus station like a bus station and as the thoughts come we choose whether to take that thought and to run with it and let it run with us or we can cast down every imagination every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of god and bring to captivity every thought to the obedience of jesus christ and also you know take no thought Y'all, this lady, Vision Coach Kim, is a mindset and business coach for Christian women in business. Her mission is to see you manifest your vision and create levels of success by using two most powerful levels of success, most powerful tools, excuse me, that we already possess, our thoughts and our beliefs. Teaching the same strategies that she used to go literally from nothing, being homeless back in 2013. We that wasn't too long ago. She was homeless to create a seven-figure brand. Coach Kim has helped many women renew their mind and create a life they love waking up to. So true. So true. Please welcome to get the note. Coach, vision coach, Kimberly Springer. Coach Kim. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you well. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for I know you've been waiting in the wings for quite some time. So I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on in the note tonight. You have been on before. It's been such a long yeah. time. So I wanted to make sure we um I wanted to honor um this women's history month. Um some women Hi. who have um been through this past three years, this journey in 2020. The end of twenty, I met you on Clubhouse, and I, wow. I I I felt a connection, but I wasn't really sure what it was. And then we right. we embarked upon twenty twenty one, and you started a room called Command Your Morning, uh, Win the Day, and yeah. uh, I jumped in that room, and literally it's been three hundred and two days almost, I think, that we've yes. been there, and my life, and many women who are even watching now, lives have literally been changed. So welcome yeah. to the show. None Thank other you. to end the note. I'm telling you, you're welcome. I'm feeling the greatness <laughs> in you. My vision coach, my coach, my friend, my mentor. Yes. Coach, vision coach, Kimberly Springer. Thanks for having coach, me. I love you so no, much. So honored. I yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, can we get some hand clap? Um, the hand clap <laughs> people, please. I, right. We don't clap for ourselves on tonight. I love. Well, I think about last night. You can edit it later, but everything is raw, real, and relaxed. I, so, I love it. I love it. So, talk, to, talk to um, talk to the viewers about what you do. I know I read it, but I love to hear you <laughs> say it every morning at seven a.m. on Clubhouse. <laughs> uh, man, what I do a lot, but <laughs> it's really listening to the Father's heartbeat. And I go to him every morning, hearing what he wants to say and 
just showing up, right? Just showing up with the message he's giving me to help the beloved. I love that we're called the beloved, right? The dearly loved, the beloved of God, right? And so for someone to be like beloved, dearly loved, right? You're going to have to be much loved. That's emotional, right? That's emotional. And so I love that I get to serve the beloved of God, helping them think like heaven, helping them open their hearts and receive what God has for them. And so I'm a mindset coach, certified life coach, and I help um, Christian women and Christian entrepreneurs just renew their mind with the word of God, right? And I know that's put it like just really succinct, but <laughs> <laughs> just helping us align our thoughts with God and what heaven is thinking. And I get to do that. I think it's the best job on the face of the earth. So it absolutely is one of the best jobs. Um, I actually don't have that. Well, yeah, because we, we talk about the ripple effect. We talk about the ripple yeah. effect. And so a lot of times I do find myself, um, you know, using the tools that I've learned and also to assimilate and to help others uh, who may come to me for uh, work. Many of you may be watching. I've had, I have um, uh, coached your brain through some type yeah. of tool that I've learned <laughs> through, through Coach Kim. Yes, 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 yes. Coach Kim, what is going on? I know you have some, uh, you have an academy, you have yeah. um, some more things that's coming up. Talk to the um, those that viewers that are watching. Let's talk about the Enoughness Academy. Let's talk about that. Yeah. What is God, because God is using you to help women, women, entrepreneurs, Christian women in business, Christian women in business. Yeah. So we're talking, we're here, Women History Month, women are taking over. We're not only, we, we, this is the year of the woman. I think it was that last year. All every year is the year of the woman. Now would be here without us. <laughs> this year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like right, this year. So talk about what you do to help Christian women uh, in business. Mm -hmm. And you have the coach, you have the room um, on, let's talk about the room first. Let's go there. On sure. Talk about that first. And then yeah. transition into the winner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we get to show up Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse. And so we have a family, we have a community there called Declare the Morning, Win the Day. And it truly is an experience, right? You're, I say you you come in brilliant and you leave brillianter. <laughs> right? And then, I love it. You're gonna be brillianter, right? You just gotta be more brilliant. And that's how it should be when we encounter Jesus, right? When we think about the woman that was caught in adultery and they brought her to him, she left edified, she left better, right? She left after an encounter with Jesus better than she was. And so when we come together, we leave better, right? It's a time of coming together, learning, being activated, um, with our voice, declaring, learning. And so it's just a wonderful time. It's hard to explain all that we do, but we are definitely more brilliant once we yes. leave the presence of God. We're activated to go out and win our day. And so as Absolutely. we say, it's the, the best place to be on Clubhouse, Monday through Friday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Time. Absolutely. This is the ladies. If you're watching, I need you to go ahead and tap those cards. Shout out Coach Kim. Uh, that room has literally um, just changed so many women's lives. I've heard so many great stories. Um, and we had a chance to just invite so many women in and there. And I, I see the transformation right before my eyes. So let's talk about um, you have enough Enoughness Academy. Talk about that. Yes, the Enoughness Academy. But before we go on, okay. you all, Princess Chantel has been the most instrumental person in this movement. And so I just wanted to take the moment to honor you because you have um, been a, the biggest wave in the ripple effect, <laughs> right? Um, just yeah. uh, compelling people to come, hijacking their phones. And <laughs> <laughs> if anyone is representing the heartbeat of God, it's you, Prophet Chantel. And I, I just want you know that the work you're even doing here within the know that you don't see it immediately but the effect and the impact is eternal and even me just being on here your guest tonight and hearing the interviews um i'm blessed 
like God literally spoke to me. Like I can hear him anywhere. I can hear him in the first church, cold frigid there. Don't matter. But you know, <laughs> when I show up and it's like, oh, you brought me here <laughs> moment for me to hear that. Right. And so I just want to let you know, I've been blessed so far um, by your show. So thank you. So the Enoughness Academy. Um, it you, is a you're welcome. I love you so much. I love what you're doing. Um, the Enoughness Academy. Yeah, give it up. Uh -huh. yeah, this is not easy. She makes it look easy, but it's not easy. Um, the Enoughness Academy is my lifetime group coaching container. And it is for Christian entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurial minded. And I help them become mentally enough and mentally tough, right? I help them access their enoughness so that they can embrace and execute the call of God upon their life. And we do that by collapsing time. And so okay. your enoughness is an accelerator. Right. There's been too much delay in the body of Christ with what God has called us to do. And as I yeah. share with my community, go is a complete sentence. Yes. You don't need yes. more confirmations. You don't need deep, deeper revelation. You don't need more explanation. Go is a complete sentence. We are to go. And so everything that causes us to delay is because we are looking outside of ourselves, not looking yes. at our team looking at the word that God has said go as an enablement. It's not just a commandment. It's actually an enablement. And so okay. I help us access how we're already enough and how to yeah. multiply that enoughness. Because you can look at Jesus' life, right? Like, <laughs> right? He multiplied what he had. And so enoughness is an accelerator. And so yeah. the... I mean, it's beautiful. We have multiple courses in there. We have triple your income. We have many students that have tripled their income. We have the enough code. I show you how to multiply from your enoughness, how I took my annual income, made it my monthly income. We have mental this in 90 days that's giving you all of the mindset tools to help you live above the circumstances. And we have the how code. The how code is a three-step process that shows you how to create in me result in your life or business without knowing the how beforehand. Like you uh, have the how within you, capital H. And so I show you how to operate from the top down from your heavenly seat because we're raised and seated in Christ. And again, it's the best job on the face of this earth that I get to do this. <laughs> so that's the enoughness. Wow. And y'all, y'all know I always say, the Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless this man that trusted in him. For, so you still trying to figure like, I don't know. Come taste it in the morning and command your morning to win the day. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead and taste Come. it and trust God that the enoughness hey. Academy is for you. Coach Kim, Come how can we follow you? Yes. Uh, Vision Coach Kim on Instagram is good. Um, Vision Coach Kim on Facebook is good. <laughs> Vision Coach Kim on Clubhouse is good. <laughs> You're going to find me at Vision Coach Kim on all of the platforms. Absolutely. Coach Kim, you have been a phenomenal, um, instrumental portion of my uh, my enoughness these, in, this, in this season of my life. And I just, I am, you always say, I'm just looking forward to what, uh, uh, what God is creating on the inside of you. And so I say the same thing for you. I am looking forward to seeing you all over this world with the, um, what God has given you to, to, to produce, multiply many, 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 many people's lives into what they were called from heaven down to earth, that we will yes. exemplify heaven here on earth. So you definitely have given us that, those tools to do that. Y'all follow Coach Kim. She is definitely um, a, a true woman of God. And she is the most sweetest, gentlest woman I've ever met. And I'm not just saying that. I met her in person and online. And it's just amazing. She stand about. She's shorter than me. So this is. <laughs> I didn't think her was shorter than me. I was like, she's shorter than me. That's the short people. We're the short people club. That's no diss. That's I love right. being short. Right. <laughs> I love being short. So Coach Kim. Um, Right, right, right. So this Women's History 
um, month, I salute you as a woman who is making history and making impact, not just in my life, and but many women and men and boys and girls around this world. So give Come it up on. for Coach Kimberly Springer. <laughs> Yay, vision Coach. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank, Thank you. Let's, um, before you leave, because uh, we have a couple more guests, before you leave, just tell the people why they should connect. I just felt led to do that. Why they should connect. Mm, why they should connect. Well, today our activation in our room was there is no place that's without hope. And that really is now becoming a mission for me because especially with our leaders, right, in ministry and with our strong, strong friends, right, that's really been on my heart lately, like the strong ones. And I see it in my clients, right? They're brilliant. They're the strong ones. They're the person that everyone comes to. But who do they have? And so they can be strong in that area, strong in that area, strong in that area. But there's one area here, right, that they're like, it's impossible, right? Like, this won't change. I'm going to just deal with it. I'm just going to settle. I'm just going to cope. And I just want to let you know there's no place that with, that's without hope. God is giving you a heart. And that heart is able to receive a seed, is able to receive new information. We all receive the same incorruptible seed. And that seed has the ability to multiply and change your life. So if you, if your heart beating, is it? Is your heart beating? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then there is no place that's without hope. If you wake up tomorrow and your heart is still beating, mm -hmm. there is hope. Because that heart can take a new seed. You just need to get in the right environment. And yes. someone to plant that seed. We have testimonies upon testimonies of people who've come into this environment, this space, this family. They've got the seed planted. They may have went about their lives, but the seed was planted. Someone's watering and God's bringing the increase. So there's no place that's without hope. None. Just Woo! come. Corruptible seed of God in your life. And the seed will perform in itself. The seed has the ability to perform in itself. So as I say to my clients, you go ahead, put down them heavy tools, right? You ain't gotta, you gotta pick up those heavy tools no more. Come on, it's wow. easy, it's low. So come get this seed, because there's no place that's without hope. Wow, there is no, somebody type in the comments, there is no place without hope. Coach, yeah. Digital Stephanie Springer, thank you again. I can't yeah. wait to see you in the morning. This will definitely be my win, so yeah. I'm just gonna let you know this right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Already in place. Yes. <laughs> Already done place. Period. Love you. Love, love you. Love you. Shout out to Coach Kim. Bye. Right. Let's go. We have to move forward, y'all. The time is drawing nine. They're telling me I have limited time now, and I'm, there's nothing going wrong. I have to. I have to pull all my tools out, Coach Kim. Tell me right now, because Amen. This is not easy, especially when we have tech issues. But let's go to our next guest real quick. This young lady is um, a woman guy that I met online. I met her online, and um, she's she's a woman of few words, so I know, and I'm going to have to pull some questions out of her tonight. She's she going to text me today. What questions are you going to ask me? I'm girl, girl. Oh, I let it flow. I let it flow. I'm going to ask you how old you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So listen, I met her online, being obedient in my journey, um, going online, doing 5 a.m. prayer, uh, doing a time where God had led me to pray on Facebook. And I met this young lady and we became friends. At, uh, we became acquaintances, then we became friends, then she became my boss. And so she allowed me to work in her business and help her um, help her build. And also she built, helped me build. Uh, and she is still just um, such a wonderful uh, mentor in my life. Welcome to the um, program, and to our program tonight, Lakina. What's up, Lakina? <laughs> Good evening. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Good. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you for your patience. Uh, you, I know you're not a live person. This is probably one of the reasons because all the stuff that's been happening tonight with the tech, but I'm glad to have you on tonight. Uh, and just wanted to share with the world um, that um, God had told me, spoke to me and said, just recognize some of the women in this 
past three years um, of your journey, that may impact, and you definitely were on the list. So I wanted to make sure that we just came to give you your flowers while you can smell and say thank you for the impact that you made in my life through being a sister friend and also my boss at one time and even now still a mentor. I look at you from afar, and when we have a chance to talk, we talk, we fuss, we laugh, we cry, we do all of that, but you are definitely one of my favorite people on this earth. So real quick, let's talk about, just tell the people who you are and what you do. Okay. Well, uh, my name is Lakina Folks. So I am in real estate. That is my main thing. I'm also a um, business coach as well, a um, best-selling author. Um, I run a few other businesses as well, a nonprofit for young girls. So that's pretty much what I do. Um, really all things business. All things business. And not only that, Lakina Folks is very modest. I'm just going to blow her up real quick <laughs> in a good way. She has several businesses um, from her real estate, also in property management. She does. She sells homes. She's a real estate. She sold over 500 homes in her career. Come on, give it up. Let's shout it out. We're talking about women that's making impact in history in our own backyard. Who we know? Who I can actually pick up the phone and call her and be like, what up, girl? I mean, she's making impact. She's a best-selling author. She has a book called Why? Telling her life story, her trial to triumph, her test to her testimony, her mess to her message, and how God, in a very short amount of time of her yes, began to just blossom her. I love the first lady. She said, you can bloom why you broke it. That's what I'm talking about. And that's definitely, Lakita has bloomed while she has been broken. But God has healed her. And now she is extending that out to even young girls with treasure within. And Lakina allowed me to be a mentor. Let's talk about treasure within. Because we're talking about women's history and how we're making an impact as women. Treasure within. Talk a little bit more about that. What you're doing for the young women. Because we are supposed to teach the younger women. So talk about that. Yeah. Yes, yes. So the Treasure Within is a nonprofit for young girls um, between the ages of nine and 19. And so it's intended to empower them, inspire them, for them to know that they are a treasure, that anything and everything that's on their body, on the inside and out, is a precious jewel, and that they should respect it and also keep themselves until the time is right. Um, and just showing them who they are in Christ and who they are as a woman and that they are a queen and royalty. So my mission is to instill that into them because I believe that once a young girl or woman know who they are, you act different, you talk different, you walk different, and you don't put up with those things once you think foolish things, once you know who who you are. So if you start young and groom them while they're young, they'll grow up to be better adult women making better choices. Wow. That is Lakina, folks. And she does it so well. She pulls out all the stops for these young ladies. It's like an eight-week program. And she brings in different mentors, all from all fastness, from etiquette to um, even had Dr. Eddie Connor come in and talk about the queen that they are. She's had women come in and do uh, uh, talk about sex, you know, not why not to have it, <laughs> you know, sexual transmitted diseases. I mean, she brings it all out for these young ladies. And then at the end of the program, she does this big ceremony and she lays out the red carpet for these young girls. And I've seen, I've been a part of it for two years. Thank you for letting me be a mentor in this program for uh, the past two years. I, it has blessed me. I've met so many other mentors. Um, just being a part of this great movement, helping the young ladies make an impact as a woman, making history yourself. I want to salute you on tonight, a woman making history, history make an impact, who not only made an impact in my life, but I'm pretty sure I can, it's the women watching right now, and some women you want to come in contact with in the near, near future, who you want to impact their lives. And she's celebrating her birthday this weekend. I can't wait to party, party with you. <laughs> Or today, do you, is any tickets left? <laughs> I think we only got like one or two tickets that we're like, oh, yeah. listen, and I love it because she's she's a she's a giver, she's a giver. So every everything that's coming in is not just for her, but if it was, guess what? She deserves it because I've seen this lady give so much till it hurt. And 
that's what it is. <laughs> for real. But she is deserving of whatever God has for you. And it's easy to look clean up. And I think a great thing. I love you. And I want to honor you on tonight. Join the Women's History Month. God bless you. We'll see you again soon. Y'all, give it up. Thank Wait, how can we follow you? How can they reach you? Yep, so everything is LaquinaFolks. Uh, website, LaquinaFolks.com, Instagram, Facebook, LaquinaFolks.com. So all the contact information is there, email, phone number, all that. Awesome. LaquinaFolks.com. Reach her there and all Lakina folks over every platform on social media. Lakina, we love you here at In The Know. We'll see you next week. We'll be back on. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. See you. All right, y'all. Listen. I believe we have our last guest that we're going to go. We're not going to be defeated on tonight. We're going to get Apostle Dr. Shante on. I believe she's at home and she has some great internet. Let's go. We introduced her before. She is Dr. Um, Shante Warren. She has a woman's ministry. And I want y'all to hear about it as well. She's helping women, men, and boys and girls all over the world. But she does have a heart for women. Let's introduce again none other than Apostle Dr. Shante Warren. Yes, I know you out being a mother, so I definitely understand. So we thank you for even just, you know, pushing through. You could have, we just, yeah, there could have been a lot of like, hey, we'll try next time. But I thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Right. I didn't bother me to possible up like, get me home. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Apostle. We're going to have to call you, we gonna have to call Yvonne Skinner after I get off the phone. Right. <laughs> Hey man, so real quick. So we kind of talked about in the beginning. I was trying to let everybody know this was a time to honor the women that in the past three years uh, have been an impact in a journey that I had to go on and really just helped me uh, trust through that, not trust, but you know, get through those times. And you were definitely one of those ones who helped me get through those times where I felt like this thing was not going to happen. And not that I've, I, and I love what you always taught me. You taught me about the process. You and Apostle has taught me the process. It's the process of Coach Kim, the process. That, that word was so instilled in me these past three years about the process that you have to go through the process to get to the promise and also to position ourselves in prayer and also to prophetically decree over our situation and speak to our situation. And our prophetic has to work on us first before anybody else. So y'all welcome to the show. We're going to end with Dr. Shante. Maybe we can talk about it. All right. So the first shall be last and the last shall be first. All right. So Dr. <laughs> Shante, tell everybody, tell everybody who you are. That's, I want to really talk about woman to woman because I know you have a woman's ministry and God is giving you that. Um, but real quick, let the people know who you are. I know your wife. A wife, a mom. A uh, pastor, a friend, a daughter, a cousin. <laughs> um, <laughs> All that. How, yeah. Well, let's talk about this. How many? How many um children do you have? And your youngest is how, how how old? Five, and Destiny will be sixteen in August. Come on, emptiness yeah. almost. Well, kind of. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Wow, wow. The, those, I'm telling y'all, black don't crack. Give it up, give it up. Y'all got to give it up for five children. And she got a <laughs> husband that loves the heck out of her. <laughs> All right, so um, Dr. Shante, talk about what else you do uh, when it comes to ministry. You, um, Your bio talks about prophetic worship and through song, and you do heavily flow in the anointing of counsel and deliverance. Talk about that a little bit. I think that that's probably really heavy. That's what I'm walking in in this season of my life. Um, it is that the the anointing of counsel and realizing that um, deliverance, powerful deliverances happen through counsel, through counseling, yes. through therapy, through uh, navigation. That's what we like to call it, navigating because ultimately the individuals you have to do the work we can navigate you to what to do or give you tools and educate you but when you get home you know how it is you know you can have a, a yes. awesome session with somebody or anointed a uh, gathering of worship but when you get home you're faced with what do i do now 
So Mm -hmm. it's really been uh, honestly a a fulfilling for me in this season of my life to um, to walk in that it's a grace. And I had to realize that it's a grace that comes from God um, um, where, like you said, where the anointing of deliverance actually comes forth through uh, counsel. And and mainly I do. I have a heart for women. I love to see women working together to advance, whether it's business. Um, whether it's mothering, sisterhood, I just believe in that, you know, because I believe mm-hmm. when women actually come together and we don't have on all of these masks and all of this stuff, we can actually yes. really empower and encourage each other and support one another. And we can we can do some powerful stuff, y'all. Yes, <laughs> like, absolutely. really. Absolutely. So you have the Woman to Woman International and you have some things that you're doing even, I believe, on a monthly basis. Let's talk about that with the yeah. Women to Women. Um, well, let's go back because you the first time I, I came to a Women to Women International event with no more fear. No more fear mm-hmm. uh, when I first met you. And then I think after that was, uh, was it the, not the butterfly one? Not the butterfly was one. It was the women who, women winning. Women yeah, who, for win, women. women winning. Y'all, we were yeah. doing the race. Yes, doing the race. And yes. then we had the transformation with the butterfly. What was that? That one was called, I know we had the butterfly. We always have a theme. That it was, it was transformation. Oh, yeah. it was transformation. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everyone is always like, I'm. listen, I will be at the one this year. So please just let me know. Genesis, I think she gave oh, me the Oh, this date. one? I know she gave I'm me the so date. Sure. I know. I'm, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. I gotta get these dates because I gotta make sure. I think it's, I have something going on, but yes. I'm gonna take one of them days. But okay, so w- then we had women who I'm um, no, she roars like her father. This last year, so every year, y'all, mm-hmm. it's something very special with the women, and I've seen women come from all over the country and the world to be a part of these gatherings. So woman to woman, talk about woman to woman real quick. Let us know what that organization, what your um, what that ministry or organization is and how people can connect with you and what you're doing even on a monthly basis to keep us all connected. Woman to woman is really just that woman to woman where we can, when you think about, I'm talking to you woman to woman, like it's no airs. It's like, we, we just unplugged. We're going to be real. Um, we go, you know, talk about real life issues and really try to bring forth, um, actual solutions and all of the time it's not just prayer i know a lot of times so my focus is not really um i actually god gave me this ministry for women who weren't in church like women who were not in church and who may never come into church so that's one of the things that i try not to make it so churchy where it's not i want it diverse where any yes. woman um, can come from any walk of life and be accepted into this uh, community. Um, so that's why we begin the empowerment zones once a month yes. on a Friday night. It's called the empowerment zone where we come together and we talk about again different uh issues or we minister you know whatever it is that god is saying that's for that season even this month we'll be doing again towards the end of the month we're having something for single women my heart is really for those women who are in waiting this year so we'll be plowing a lot more uh in there in this spring and this summer one because i believe i know what god showed me about um brides about women being prepared to to be married and i believe that in my heart i desire that for those women um who have been in waiting but i just believe that god had um been waiting as women position themselves and also men i know a lot of time we hear about women 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 you know women all the time right Um, but you know i believe because we're nurturers we put so much in and and all of that he wants to make sure our hearts are positioned right you know so that we can um you know, be prepared to be married and receive, yes. you know, our king our in king. the earth. You yes. know, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. So yeah. I but am definitely excited too. What is the date for that one? Please let me know. Y'all that one is going it. to <laughs> <laughs> that 
one is March the 25th, I believe, that Friday, because we'll be dealing with the marriages that Saturday. We've been trying to be consistent also with the marriage ministry, but that Friday night, that Friday night, I believe that's the 25th, um, we, we're going to, we, we're going to talk some, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about um, divorce. We're going to talk about dating, all of it. You know, I told her we're going to have, um, the, one of the speakers suggested we had a, a mocktails. We have mocktails. <laughs> oh, mocktails. And yeah, so we, I we love have it. a good time. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Y'all need to connect with Dr. Shante and this powerful women's ministry and also the ministry, Elohim Kingdom Ministries, uh, where she pastors and um, apostolic leaders with her husband, Apostle Wes Warren. Definitely a church, I mean, excuse me, a ministry where you can thrive and you can learn and you can be healed and all that great stuff. And the women to women's ministry, you don't have to be a, 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 kingdom citizen there women from all walks of life can come all over the world all over the nation to be a part of this great movement dr shante how could they reach out to you to get more information if they want to i know they're putting it in the comments so let us know as well um on social media you can go to uh, uh dr shante warren on instagram it's just shante warren on facebook and uh, the website is dr shante warren.com Wow. Well, Dr. Shante Warren, I'm so glad we had a chance to get you on and talk to you. Because truly wanted to honor you during this Women's History Month that you're making history right here in our own neck of the woods and all over the world. And you're making impact, not only in my life, but many women um, that you may impact and many to come. So thank you. I wanted to honor you on this. Women's thank history. you for having me it's always fun to come on in the note and i just wanted to say that i i am proud of you and keep on moving forward keep moving forward and in everything that you're doing i'm i'm excited thank about you. your future <laughs> thank you so much i remember dr shate i used to tell her um i was I always come to her about relationships so every y'all be at this march 25th and beyond especially this one because she does have some wisdom and when it comes to being a wife, and I used to be like, I'm going to put you in my pocket so I can hear you. I need you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put you in one ear so I can talk to this guy so I can know what to say because they be doing some stuff. I'll be like, huh? She'll be like, no. You, no, that's it. I'm like, no, I need you in my ear. All right. All right. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shante. Love you much. God bless you. Love you, all too. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We have, we made it through. Somebody say, we made it through. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> Listen, we was not going to be stopped on tonight or any other night or something. God is good. And God is good all the time. Everybody say that. God is good all the time. God is good. All right. This is your host of In the Know. If you would like to be a host, uh, uh, not a host, you be a co-host if you want to. Dr. Shante used to be my co-host back in the day, y'all. She ain't new to this. She's true to this. Listen, if you would like to donate to help us, help us. Somebody help. God said he was saying help from on high. But it's going to be through people. In the note 313. Your next level gift. Okay, prophet. I like that. I ain't just seen that. Come on. We need some next, next level gifts. We bring great content every, every week. Next week, don't miss the show. It will be live and we will have some awesome guests. For women's history next two weeks you don't want to miss what you didn't miss tonight thank y'all for staying on bearing with us through the tech issues and everything thank you thank you thank you somebody's give god glory on tonight won't he do it shout out to our our, our producer he's such a ham rocket going on the one to you shout out to donnie donnie francis somebody donnie god gonna bless you i'm telling you Salam, all of y'all that help. Everybody help. I don't want to start calling names. Everybody, all the post engagers, everybody. All my guests on tonight, I appreciate you. You have been an impact in my life. And as women making history, we'll see you next week.